Hello followers, I wanna just give you this quick tip uh, that you may need for uh, PMDG777 Auto Throttle during landing phase. So let's get started. This tip is about the auto throttle disconnection as I prefer always to land my uh, Boeing 777 manually but the problem is uh, as you may know that uh, when using an external device uh, the, to control your thrust such as uh, the CH throttle quadrant the throttles are not synchronized with the actual N1 set by the auto throttle and as long as you are using the auto throttle there is no problem the problem is when you disconnect the auto throttle why the device throttles are not synchronized with the actual n1 this can cause a sudden change in the thrust at the moment we take a manual control of the thrust causing an unstable landing path if this happens you will find yourself fighting with your throttle levers trying to regain aircraft stability back to its correct path to solve this problem actually pmdg 777 has an optional feature that we can add to our thrust display which is the thrust lever position indicator which is shown in cyan color when the auto throttle is active when using this feature and the auto throttle is active, the thrust lever position of our throttle quadrant appears in cyan sector arc outside the dial which shows the difference between the commanded N1 by our throttle quadrant and the actual N1 commanded by the auto throttle. Let me first show you how I manage my auto throttle disconnection during the landing. Then later on in this video, I'll show you how to add this feature to your PMDG777. As you can see, for instance, the engine thrust is under the auto throttle control. My aircraft is established on the final approach, configured and stable. Now, before I disconnect the auto throttle, first I move my thrust levers on my external hardware, for instance, my CH throttle quadrant to bring the cyan thrust lever position indicators to the actual N1 indications. Now they are synchronized, I can disconnect the auto throttle. This is the best way to ensure a stable approach and landing after the auto throttle disconnection. Let me now show you how you can add this feature. Go to the FMC CDU, select menu, then PMDG setup options, then simulation. Using next page key, step through the pages and find show thrust lever position. It's set to no by default, as you can see here, and we need to change this option to yes. That's it. Now you will get the thrust lever position indicators working and this complete this tutorial. See you in the next video.